Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. It's Monday. You know what that means? It's time for another installment of seven minutes in the morning. Today, big promise today, the secret to success. Stay tuned. This is seven minutes in the morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Was that Matthew Broderick? I think that's uh, I think that's who was in that. Secret to my... No, 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 that wasn't Matthew Broderick. That was uh, Michael J. Fox, right? Is that right? Hey, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. My name's Tom Rigsby. This is... Uh, seven minutes in the morning. Almost forgot the name of the show. The show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership. Today, the secret to success. But before we get to that, I would like for you to do me a favor. Uh, do as Joe and Catherine have done already. Leave a comment, say hi, hello, good morning, how you doing? Nice haircut, whatever. Whatever makes sense to you. That's what I want you to put down there in the comments. And by the time we get to the end, if you have found any value, encouragement, or otherwise liked any part of the show today, I would appreciate if you would give me the old hearts, thumbs up, stars, likes, whatever's appropriate in the venue where you watch or listen, because you can get this show just about anywhere. It's on uh, Facebook Live, then it shows up on YouTube, then iTunes, Stitcher, uh, SoundCloud, everywhere, everywhere. It's everywhere. It's like chicken, man. All right. So today, quote today comes from Seth Godin. Successful people are the ones who break the rules. Successful people are the ones that break the rules. Here's the thought that I, I want you to kind of chew on today. And as you go through the day, see how this works for you. It kind of comes back to this saying that that we use here a lot. If you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to keep getting what you've always gotten. But there's a little derivative of that. Um, if you do what everybody else does, you're likely to get what everybody else gets. Right? So if you are one of those, so I have a piece of paper that you're handed your roadmap to success, either when you, Graduate high school, start college, finish college, whatever. Parents gave it to you when you're six years old. I don't care. Somebody else gives you, <laughs> somebody else gives you the roadmap that says this is what you have to do to be successful. It's wrong. I'll just tell you now, it's wrong. I can't even give you uh, the the 100% accurate roadmap. What I can do. And this is what every good coach should do. And this is, I'm going to get on a soapbox here for a minute because I have run into this more times than not. And it irritates me. <sighs> good coaches don't give you a list of things to do is so to do these and you'll be successful. How insane is that? That's like, I think I used this example last year. That's like you wanting to be good at basketball. So I go out and get you a pair of shacks, old sneakers and say, here, wear those. You'll be successful. No, you won't. You'll just stumble around like a clown on the basketball court because they're too big for you. It's not what you need. All right. Now, thus endeth the sermon. What I can do for you is help you find your definition of success, the outcome that you are trying to create, and then help you create a path and hold you accountable to that path. I can also apply some of my experience to help guide you through those but at the end of the day, the journey's yours. I can't do it for you, and neither can anybody else. Right? So this idea that there is a prescribed path to success, a movement through job titles, progression from this to that to the no, it it just doesn't exist. How many people have you heard of? Anecdotally, how many people have you heard of who have climb the corporate ladder and they're miserable because that's not what they're supposed to be doing. This is why it is so important to understand how you are uniquely gifted, talented, and placed. 
If you, if you, if you understand that and you leverage that, you follow those things, oh, everything's going to be right in your world. It's when you start fighting against those that things go wrong. So back to our quote, successful people are the ones that break the rules. Don't, don't believe don't, and don't act. Certainly don't act like you have to subscribe to someone else's definition of what success means for you. The only person you have to be accountable to every day is the one you look in, look at in the mirror every morning. Make sure that person is happy and enjoying the journey and you'll be right as rain. Speaking of rain, we're having some rain today. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, and, and Catherine says she's an expert rule bender. I don't doubt that for a moment. You won't get what everyone else gets when you do what everyone else does. You'll only struggle to keep going because the way they go is not your way. I agree with that. You could go boating in shack shoes. I agree. There are things you can do to discover your path, but there is not step-by-step -step guides for your path. Joe says people who do things for you charge a significant amount and it is hard. People who do things for you charge a significant amount and it is hard to be profitable. Here's the thing, Joe. I, yeah, I can pay somebody, for example, I can pay somebody to cut my grass, right? The problem is I enjoy cutting the grass. That's a, I, and I think this is where you were going. That's a, that, that, that's a, that's a period of time that I use. That's, that's my alone time, my thinking time. I get some of my best ideas while I'm out riding the moor, right? Could I pay somebody else to do it? Yes. Will I get the same results? No. If I'm really, and, and I, I don't enjoy cutting the grass because I'm the gardener of the family by any stretch of the imagination. But if I were and I paid somebody else to do it, would they do it as good as me? Probably might even do it better than me. But they wouldn't do it the way I saw it in my mind's eye. Right? So so can I have someone, else, or if I had somebody come in and design a garden, could they design one that was nicer than mine? They know the right plants to put and stack and how tall. They yeah, sure. But again, it's still not the one that I saw in my mind's eye. Catherine says you can hire someone to train you to work out, but if they try to train you in a way that doesn't work for your body, that's a waste of resources. And if you don't make the choice to take action, oh, it won't matter who you hire. I like that a lot. If you don't make the choice to take action, it doesn't matter who you hire. We're going to leave it on that note today. The question for you today, what rule are you going to break? There, that's simple. Be a nonconformist today. What rule are you going to break? Remember, there is someone in your network who needs to hear this message today, and I can see exactly how many of you share this with other people. Find one person in your network, share it with them. They will appreciate it, and so will I. That's it for today. Remember, tomorrow is a brand new show. Right up, straight up, pretty close to straight up, 7 o'clock. Be sure and join us. For another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Till then, you have a magnificent Monday.